Hello everyone! I'm here to talk to you today about using household items as molds. Um, so what I've been doing lately is I've been um, cutting up old egg cartons and I've been using those as press molds for um, some little fun decorative um, egg cartons. So what I'm going to show you today, all I did was I, I emptied out my egg cartons and, uh, or my eggs from my egg cartons. I just put them in a bowl instead of these. You're going to have to make some sacrifices for a little bit until you get these fired and done. But what I did is I started cutting up the little things and just placing them around different parts, seeing where I wanted to put them. Um, so you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. You can make it look as weird as you want. Um, so I'm gonna, once you get them kind of in the order you want them, um, I have some tape and it's, it doesn't hold very well, but it does the job. So I'm just gonna put the tape under here and kind of squeeze them together like this. It doesn't have to look perfect. So I'll set that off to the side for now. And then I'm gonna get my clay. And I'm going to show you how to make um, some slabs. So I'm going to make the slab as long as this guy. So obviously it's not that wide yet. Um, if you have like a flat, solid surface to slam onto the surface and make a slab that way, that would probably be best. So what I'm going to start with is uh, just kind of pressing it and flipping it and pressing it. If you have a what are they called? Rollers, like a rolling pin. Um, you can use that. Use that to roll this out, make it really long and flat. So I'm gonna use this stool instead so I don't kill my table. And I'm kind of pounding and swiping it. You can see where my hand motion is going. Like it's going across, so I'm like dragging it further across rather than just hitting it straight down. I'm like dragging it so it goes a little bit more out. Um, and also know that it's probably going to stick to your table or surface unless you have canvas. Um, but just be aware of that. It doesn't stick too bad as long as it's not too wet. I'm going to flip it over. You can see how it's sticking to the, sticking to the stool a little. Just be really careful when you roll it up. Alright. So I'm getting the length that I want. Let's see here. So I'm almost there. All right, let's see. I can just set this over top of it and see. Hey, that works pretty good. So I've got my little rib tool right here. This guy helps with realigning the particles in the clay. Since I've stretched them out really far by hitting them like this, I'm going to realign them with my rib tool. So I'm going to go back and forth. This bounces so much. I'm going to do both sides just to really compress this flat piece of clay. Um, if I don't do this, there can be a lot of stress on those particles when they're separated that far apart. Um, and then a lot of cracking can happen when you fire it in your kiln. So that's why this stage is important. Cool. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to set this on top of it. This is our press mold. So now I'm going to go in here and start pinching and working my way down. And this is probably the trickier part so I'm I'm not just slamming everything down in there and letting the mold do all the work. I am not gonna push it down all the way into those egg holes because um, they're a little too deep for what I like. Um, so I'm gonna only go about halfway in there and I'm really working the edges. I'm pressing on these edges rather than um, all the way into that hole. But I like to start um, with knowing where my holes are at and where things, where things need to be pressed in a little bit more. So I'm starting to find where my pockets are of empty space. So I can go ahead and pinch off that extra clay around the side right there. And I'm pinching, I'm pinching, and then I'm kind of pulling off that extra clay. I'm not just pulling it straight off. I'm pinching it, making it thinner around that edge, and then slightly pulling it off. 
All right, so now once I get all those torn off the, the sides, the edges, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start lifting up those edges. I'm gonna pinch and lift around the edges here because I don't want my little eggs to fall out. Okay, so I've got all the sides kind of raised up a little bit. Um, so now I can go back in with my finger and really define um, where that slope's starting. I'm not pushing, I'm just kind of pressing to the sides of where I feel those edges rising. Okay, once you've got those edges pretty defined on the circle part, um, you can go back and kind of pinch up these guys. You can use a sponge if you need to. My clay's pretty wet, but if yours is a little bit more dry and you see cracking, you can use a sponge um, to go back over the top. For the final part, I'm gonna take a dirty egg that I've got clay all over. I'm gonna take this egg, it's hard boiled, so if I crack it, it'll be fine. Um, but I'm gonna get some water, I'm gonna twist it in there. Just making that shape perfect for the egg to sit in there. And voila! It is gonna be a little weird in there, a little sticky, but that's fine. I'll clean that up later. Finished! I got my dirty egg and all of the little divots um, and so now I'm gonna let this dry with the setup for probably I don't know 20 20 some minutes um, until I can take it out of the egg carton um, and it doesn't affect the shape of my clay at all and I can do cleanup on the bottom I can just take a sponge and clean up the bottom clean up the sides so yeah so that's the that's our egg carton our homemade egg carton still really really wiggly but it's a nice decoration nice some homemade gifts for people so try it out at home thanks for watching happy quarantine